Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your general energy reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind guys that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And even though this is, uh, you know, dated for April of 2022, it doesn't really mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at this time or that these energies are present in your life or these circumstances are present in your life at this time. Um, this is just whatever messages spirit has for you for this monthly check-in. Yes? Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, energies are fluid. Time is an illusion. <clears throat> All right, Sag, let's get it right into this and see what messages that we have for you for this month. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please bring us clear and accurate representation of the energies, of the guidance, of the messages that you have for Sagittarius for their journey at this time for the month of April of 2022. Excellent. Let's get into this, Sag. I'm going to start with the animal spirit guides here, and we're going to get you an overall energy. So what messages do we have for Sagittarius, please, at this time, spirit? For Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and north node. This is clear. I'm seeing a combination of energies for you, Sagittarius, um, a combination of colors. This is three. Uh, blue, pink, but the main color is green. Okay, this is four. Uh, healing. Heart chakra awareness, this is five. It's like, it's mainly green, but it's marbled with blue and pink. Blue would be uh, expression, authenticity. Pink would be unconditional love. All right, what do we got going on for Sagittarius? What? Wow, look at this. Okay, you've got butterfly. You've got bear. And we have otter for you, Sag. Okay. So, um, <laughs> and then at the bottom of the deck, you do have a unicorn. I love that. We're not going to take it. We're going to leave it there, but I definitely wanted to, <laughs> anytime unicorns come up, I absolutely want to share that. All right. So, sorry about that. I had to pause for a second. Okay. So, um, obviously you've gone through, or you've been going through a massive transformation with butterfly here. However, with butterfly, I definitely feel like that transformation is complete. You have emerged out of this energy. You have emerged out of this transformation. You are a completely new person. I'm hearing a newborn, but in this newborn state, Sagittarius, you are very fierce, very protective, very strong, uh, with the bear energy. And I feel like you're insulated. So, um, a lot has been going on for Sagittarius for a long time, and I have been channeling a lot of that for you guys over the last few years. Uh, what I really want to say about this transformation that you've gone through, Sagittarius, is that you really bulked up, you've beefed up, okay, with this bear energy. The first thing that I think about when I look at bear for you is the ability of the ability for them to hibernate. Uh, and when they hibernate, but right before they hibernate, they ingest a lot of food. You know, they eat a lot of calories that helps them put on a lot of weight, which is insulation, um, fat and all that stuff that insulates them uh, for over their hibernation period. Um, you know, it insulates their bodies from the cold, even though they do burrow in their dens, but then also provides their bodies with sustenance for them to survive off of as they're hibernating. And that's what I under, that's really what I'm picking up for you in terms of the transformation that you've gone through and, and, and the, the, the transformation that has been completed and how you have emerged. Now, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not necessarily saying that you've gained a bunch of weight and blah, 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 and like you're husky like a bear, but I am feeling, I'm picking up on energetically, you have a lot more, you have a lot more to you. You have a lot more girth. You have a lot more weight. You have a lot more you have a lot more to you that will sustain you. you. It can get through you through get you through just about anything. Okay. Now the interesting thing about that is with otter, otters tend to have a hefty level of fat on them as insulation to keep them warm in the water, in cool climates, in cold waters. 
But the, the message that I'm getting from Otter is the playfulness. Even though you have gone through a hell of a lot, Sagittarius, and you've gone through a massive transformation and you've come out bulkier, stronger, fiercer, you know, uh, the bear energy is, bears are nothing to, to fuck with, right? Not to say that they're actively going to be super aggressive, but if you cross them in the wrong way, they will come at you and they will put a mean hurting on you, right? But then all of that is tempered by this otter energy, okay? Playfulness, inquisitiveness, um, being able to be on land and on water. So you have effectively been able to or are able to um, live in your emotions, uh, live in the more watery, uh, ethereal, I want to even say spiritual realms, but you also have a great deal of grounding about you. And that's a really excellent energy to have, okay? It's like you can, you're, you're ethereal, like you can, you can move through the ethers, you understand, or you can travel or traverse the ethers, the emotions, the realm of spirit, but you also are very grounded, very well grounded, I'm hearing. That's beautiful. And this is all a level of transformative energies. This is a, this is a, a representation, a depiction of the transformation that you have gone through. I'm also getting with butterfly uh, your ability to traverse the mental realm because butterflies can represent air and the mental realm. Um, they fly around, they flit around. Uh, they do fly from flower to flower here. I get this strong feeling, Sagittarius, that you are in the, the mind space in the period in which you are able to really understand a lot of things but also enjoy a lot of different things. It's almost as if you know, you are very grounded, very insulated, very strong, okay, very playful and all that, but you're also able to, it's like things that once bothered you in the past or things that may have torn you down or bothered you in the past, you're able to, to effortlessly just fly away from them, change the subject, change your mindset. Things don't really bother you or affect you the same way as they did in the past. And that's really beautiful. Okay, this is really excellent for you, Sag. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move these over here and I'm going to get into your freestyle spread using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, yeah? Here we go. Five shuffles for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what else we've got for you this month. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Three. Three. Four, and five. All right. Here we go, Saggy. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Sag. We're starting you off with the... Oops, sorry. I just hit the camera. We're starting you off with the Page of Swords. First thing I'm hearing for you is inquisitive nature. And, okay, and that's very much what this otter energy represents here. All right. Okay, underneath the Page of Swords, you do have the Eight of Pentacles. And underneath the Eight of Pentacles is the Page of Wands. Definitely a transformation within you and a new cycle, a new start. And underneath the Page of Wands is the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, Sag. So, uh, ooh, and then there's that Seven of Pentacles, which, okay, we're going to get into that in a second. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so Sagittarius. Uh, you are definitely in a brand new phase of your life, okay? And you're, uh, what I'm hearing is you're able to see things much clearer now than you used to. The biggest factor for why you're able to see things in such a clear manner is because you are working from a level of self-worth and personal contentment that has you completely in a completely different realm. Um the part of this transformation that you've gone through, symbolized by the butterfly, has helped you to get to reach a point where you really truly understand your worth, your value, what it is you want to be working towards, what it is you don't want to be working towards, what it is you want to be giving your time, attention, and energy to. And all of that is because you have a greater sense of self-value and self-worth. Okay, you may even emer have emerged out of this transformative process with an understanding of a different skill set that you may not have had access to before. Granted, it was always a part of your energetic makeup of your 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 um your personal abilities, but it was 
It wasn't until you really started to understand what your worth is and what it is you wanted to be working towards that you gained the understanding or the awareness of this skill. Okay, and now you're putting that into practice. You're putting that into development. The Page of Swords is representing an inquisitive nature, desiring to learn and express and understand how to best express this new creative skill, this new ability, or at least just this new pathway that you want to move forward towards. There is that Eight of Pentacles energy that represents the hard work diligently uh, developing something new, diligently working towards something new. And I really feel like you're very excited about this. I mean, you do have the page of wands here that can represent excitement. But as I'm looking into this eight of pentacles energy, I feel like you're just very enthusiastic about this. Um, this is like almost like a breath of fresh air, this new path or this new skill that you're working on developing or this new, whatever this is, this new creative venture. Okay. And it doesn't have to be like art or music or anything like that. It's just, it's creative in the sense of this is something new you're working on that you are developing for yourself. No matter how it looks, your creative, uh, facility or your creative faculties are fully at use here. And I really feel like you are 100% ready to, willing to put all of your creative abilities, all of your energy, all of your time, all of your effort into this. Of course, within balance. I don't feel like this is really any anything super obsessive or anything like that. But th there is hard work that you are willing to do here. And there's excitement involved with it. Beautiful. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. We're going to start with the first half of your reading. For, uh, the first half of your reading is going to look at the past up until the current energies. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles absolutely represents the completion of a life cycle in your past. But the first thing that I heard for, for you in terms of this Ten of Pentacles, Sagittarius, is in fact willingness to work towards some sort of long-term goal. Now, you may th this transformation that you went through may not have been so recent. And that makes that kind of makes sense because it it was a few months ago, uh maybe around January actually of 2022 that I actually really um channeled a level of a transformation having been completed. And it was through that transformation that you it's like you have the willpower, the understanding, the vision, and the and the the cultivated sense of self worth that provides you with this st stable foundation to say yes, I do want to work towards something long term. It, it, whereas in the past you were really struggling with a lot of things, especially self worth, and that kind of sapped your energy away. That sapped your perseverance, your 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 ability to really. Um, strive for something or continue to something or put long-term effort into something. This 10 of pentacles feels like that moment that you accepted some sort of, I want to say I I'm hearing commitment, but what I really want to say is commission. It's like the, the universe has commissioned you to start developing something and you took that absolutely 100% on with gusto. I love that. 10 of pentacles is coupled with there's the Six of Pentacles, okay? Okay, well, Sagittarius, you may have started a new job in the recent past. Um, this, is de this definitely has to do with finances and career here. Uh, but... Well, okay, yeah, you. I mean, obviously, we're talking about starting a new, a, a new project, a new creative venture. Um, and, and so, but also in terms of that, it doesn't necessarily have to be just a creative pursuit. It could just be a brand new job, okay? That you're that you're willing to be in it for the long term. Whatever this is for you here, the reason why you're willing to be in it for the long term is because it is reciprocal, or at least. Uh, at the moment that you took on the, the venture, it provided you with enough of a sense of reciprocity for you to say, yes, I will give my time, attention, and energy to that, which is a representative of that Queen of Pentacles energy that's at the bottom of the deck for you. Your finances are, in fact, about to improve because of this. It's going to be 
over an extended amount of time, but at least you can, I feel like you can see how this will really be beneficial for you in financially, in your career, even creatively. I just feel like for some of you, what this might be a situation that you are willing to give into because it provides you with a certain level of creative license and creative flexibility that you didn't have in the past. And maybe that you've been really looking for, okay? This this might even be like a dream job or a dream come true in terms of your career and finances. This is a really beautiful golden opportunity for you. But the reason why you've been able to align with this Sagittarius is because you have this greater sense of self-worth, which has literally put you in direct alignment with it. That literally opened up the door for you. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. There's that seven of pentacles here. Again, understanding your worth, understanding what has been going on in the past, understanding what was not fulfilling for you, what was not providing you with the fruits of your labor, what was not providing you with the harvest that you needed and or desired. And anybody can understand that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are willing to put the work and effort into developing something new or getting into something new. Also doesn't necessarily mean that they will... Um, find the opportunities to switch careers, switch jobs, switch locations, switch circumstances towards something that is much greater in alignment with them. But that is only because they don't necessarily have that sense of self-worth. Someone can recognize that they're not getting the fruits of their labor, but if they don't have that sense of self-worth to say, I am done with this and I am going to manifest something else, then they most likely will just either stay in that position or leave that position for something else just like it. That's not you here, Sagittarius. And I'm referring again to that Queen of Pentacles energy that's at the bottom of the deck, okay? Also the Six of Pentacles, which is the rest reciprocal energies, but the only way you are really truly able to recognize the reciprocity is if you have a greater sense of self-worth to begin with. Fantastic. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the Five of Swords. Like literally putting down your sword and saying, this isn't even worth it any longer. I mean, quite frankly, it was never worth it. But you had to go through the process of learning, of experiencing the situation, learning from the situation, integrating the lessons from that, and then developing, growing, transforming out of it to a much stronger individual who is ready to be more inquisitive, more playful, more creative, and say, I'm done with that. Why? Because I've learned the lessons surrounding it. Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful, Sag. Your challenge in terms of the past leading up to the current energies is strength. Having the strength to say no. No is such a powerful word. I would say it's the most powerful two-letter word in the English language. No. That was your challenge. That was literally your challenge to pull back your ego and your pride and, and say no to something in order for you to be able to take a leap of faith towards something new, something greater, something better, something much more in alignment with you and your values and your sense of self-worth. Otherwise, <clears throat> if you didn't have the strength to pull your ego back, then you most likely would have stayed in this situation because of pride. Maybe even because of a sense of loyalty. And I will say you're being loyal now, but at this point you're being loyal to yourself and your sense of greater self-awareness and value. Excellent. Strength is coupled with the five of pentacles. This literally feels like the energy of having the strength to rework your situation so that you are no longer feeling left out in the cold. Like I really feel like you took your power back and instead of requiring or having someone else validate you, you decided to validate yourself. And that's literally the best thing that you could do because when you require external situations or external sources to provide you with a sense of validation, you will always lose. That is a lose-lose energy, lose-lose situation. The only true validation that you need comes from within, comes from God, source, creator, and spirit. 
And this definitely was a type of leap of faith type of energy because you needed to have that sense of self-worth and that sense of value first. You needed to lead with that. And from there, this brand new creative opportunity, beautiful opportunity, reciprocal opportunity follows suit. You have to lead with the energy first and let the and then the universe will align with you. Excellent. Closing message or potential outcome such for your first half of your reading, death. There is that transformation. And with that, Sagittarius, I want to say your life will never be the same. And that is excellent. Death is coupled with the Three of Swords. You, your pain has transformed you. Or we can say you have transformed out or through your pain. The pain that you experienced in the past, even though you may not necessarily see it this way, but I'm here to tell you, the pain that you experienced in the past was absolutely the best thing you could have gone through. Why? Because it led you to the person, the representation of the being that you are today, which is a greater expression of your true authentic self. And so that's where these colors that I was seeing for you come into play. It was a combination of pink which is unconditional love, blue, which is authenticity and clarity and communication, and green, heart chakra awareness and healing. All of that wrapped up in your energy. Beautiful. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. So the second half is going to look at the current energies leading off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Saggy. Two of Wands. Having a decision to make, uh, planning is really kind of what I'm getting here. I, I know, I feel like you already know at least the general direction you would like to go in. Okay. But you are in the preliminary stages of that right now. You are in the stages of planning. I know I want to get to destination or I want to get to this place. So the Two of Wands represents, okay, how do I go about getting there? Okay. Two of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Swords. That's interesting. What is the Seven of Swords here? Give me a moment. Let me just channel this for a second. Disbelief. Okay, so uh, what I'm okay, what I'm getting with this Seven of Swords is that there may be some residual feelings of inability to go about this. Um, if this is a Excuse me. If this is a really brand new, like big time, brand new type of situation for you, endeavor, project, job, or anything like that, do not allow anything to come in and tell you, deceive you into thinking you can't reach your de de destination, that it's impossible, that it's too difficult, you don't have or you won't have enough money or resources or whatnot, whatever. Don't let anything discourage you. OK, you are at the very beginning stages of this new adventure, of this new project, of this new job. And, and because of that, it's like you're a newborn and that kind of leaves you susceptible to negative self-talk, uh, negative entities coming in, trying to persuade you that to, into thinking that you're not capable, you're not good enough, it's not possible. Don't allow that to happen. Remain confident, remain true to yourself, remain true to the understandings of your abilities. If you feel genuinely inspired to move in this new direction, do not allow anything to tell you that you can't do it. I just, I really get this feeling, Sag, that whatever this is that's new for you, you are in the very new phases and that is, that does leave you kind of susceptible or kind of a, a, as a target for negativity to come in and derail you. OK, don't let that happen. It's all an illusion. If you are called to this, then you are capable of it. All you got to do is just continue to follow through. And yes, you can learn on the job or you can learn in the process. Quite frankly, that's what's really ideal here. You're never going to know everything before you set out on your venture. There are always going to be things to learn. No matter how experienced you may think you are, there is always something new to learn. Keep that in mind. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius, in the second half of your reading. Boop, the Nine of Cups. Contentment, happiness, wish fulfillment. I get a very strong energy from this Nine of Cups that your finances, again, are going to be in such a better state. This, whatever this is for you, Sag, this is really going to provide you with a sense of stability, a sense of contentment for yourself, for your family. 
I mean, th- for some reason, I'm seeing Christmas. I'm seeing Christmas for you, Sagittarius. Um, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, what I'm getting from that is any sort of holiday or any sort of experience or maybe it's like birthdays or like within your specific religion, if you are religious like that, or if you just have any sort of time of the year which has, which has been disappointing for you. Okay, but I'm going to use the analogy of Christmas. Um, you know, Christmas is a time period where everybody gets together. It's joyful. It's beautiful, blah, blah, blah. It's the holidays. But people tend to spend a lot of money on gifts, on parties, on adventures, on travel. But you haven't been able to do that because finances have been shit, shitty, okay? Or your situation has just been shitty. Or you've had negative memories of, you know, family and friends or whatnot, whatever, that make that time period or make this type of time period, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever, Kwanzaa, whatever, make these types of time periods really negative and dark for you. That's all changing. Okay, take that as it resonates. Yes? Nine of Cups is coupled with... (laughs) There you go. The Tower the tower. This is absolutely a massive change in your life where you've been in cycles of depression, depletion, feeling left out in the cold, feeling not good enough, feeling uh, abandoned, not having enough finances, not feeling financially stable. That whole tower of experiences, of beliefs, of negative self-talk, that is crumbling to the ground and it's leaving you with a sense of personal satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment on just an everyday mundane level. Your life is seriously improving, Sagittarius. And this is all because of this. And I know it's really hard to believe, but it's literally all because of this this queen of pentacles energy. And it's because you believe in yourself. You recognize and not only recognize, but appreciate, accept, and enforce your sense of self-worth. You demand to be treated better. And what I'm hearing is you're not necessarily demanding to be treated better by people around you. You're demanding this from the universe. And again, it's not like you're demanding it from the universe in, a, in like a narcissistic or a childish or a temper tantrum type of way. But because you are connected with that sense of greater self-worth, you are not allowing anything or not accepting anything in your life that does not reflect that. That's how you work with the universe. Okay? The universe does not see you as ungrateful in this sense when you do this. No, they're just responding to the energies you put out. Your challenge, Sag, in the second half of your reading here, the devil. Okay, there you go. There is the devil energy here trying to manipulate you, trying to make you think you're not good enough, trying to make you think you're not capable, trying to make you think you're not going to be able to achieve whatever it is you set out to achieve. The only way the devil has power over you, Sag, is if you hand that power to him. Don't do it. Stay in that Queen of Pentacles energy. Stay in that energy of knowing your worth and not accepting anything less. You are literally going to have to face the devil head on. Look him straight in the eye and say, you have no power here. But you're capable of doing that. The devil is coupled with the moon, illusion, fear, confusion, manipulation I'm hearing. But you see, the fact that the moon is here is a good thing, is a saving grace, because this is confirming the fact that whatever fears are coming up here, whatever negative self-talk, whatever deception, whatever manipulation is coming up here, it's an illusion. It's almost... (laughs) <laughs> it's almost as if the moon drawing the moon here in context with the devil is like a contradiction in terms of the fact that this is your challenge here because the moon being on top of the devil like this kind of like blows his whole facade it literally says to you this is an illusion on top of that the moon represents your ability to see past see underneath the surface or see through the illusion okay because the moon can represent intuition, psychic ability, and uh, 
uh, uh, sixth sight or foresight. Okay? It's all an illusion, Sag. Don't believe it. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Saggy, in the second half of your reading. Boop! The Ace of Swords. Truth, honesty, integrity, clarity. You have the sword of truth. It's like you're wielding this sword of truth right now and nothing can stop you. It is this sword that you can use to cut through the devil's illusions. Hold that with great power. With great power comes great responsibility. Um, I'm being brought to, like now I'm getting the image or, of, um, or the analogy of uh, the sword in the stone. It's like you were the only one that was able to pull this sword out of this stone. Like it's almost like you're King Arthur here in some way. For some of you, that story has great significance to you, or at least you need to read that story because there's a message in there for you or reread that story, reconnect with that. You are wielding great power at this time, Sagittarius, and you are more than capable of doing it, okay? Ace of Swords is coupled with, yes, the Four of Wands. Again, you're more than capable. You are absolutely ready for this. You have the ability. You have the power. You have the, the authority to wield this power. Don't let anything allow you or convince you to believe Otherwise, point blank per it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. Closing Oracle guidance. Um, I'm actually wanting to go with the magic of the unicorns for you, Sagittarius. Since, okay, yes, that's right. Since we have this unicorn energy here for you, you are definitely showing up as a unicorn though. Like for sure, you're a magical, mystical being at this moment. There is a whole lot of mystery surrounding you. A lot of people, um, oh, this is why you actually may be a target for some sort of dark or negative entities that want to tear you down because you do have this like magical, mystical sense about you, about your aura at this time, okay? Uh, really, really hold on to that because that's really beautiful. Let's get into this. Five shuffles here. Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Sagittarius. This is one, two, three, four, and five. All right, Saggy. Let's see what we've got for you. Closing message for my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Bam. Oh my goodness, this couldn't be any more perfect. Card number 10, access your gifts. Explore your treasure chest. Accept who you truly are. Oh my God, yes. Let's see what we've got from the book here. All right. You have been on a long soul journey through many lives on other planets and in different universes. During these experiences, your soul has gathered wisdom, knowledge, skills, and gifts. These may include ority, or oratory, excuse me, creativity, healing, and the, uh, the ability to deal with people, an underlying, I'm sorry, an understanding of crystals, herbs, sacred geometry, music, or mathematics, the ability to communicate with different species, or many other talents. There is a vast range of possibilities. Now, your unicorn is suggesting that you examine all that you are good at and give yourself credit for everything you have already developed. These skills are your treasures. The higher qualities you have accumulated are also valuable. These may range from charisma, self-discipline, kindness, integrity, and happiness to humility, inner peace, and much more. Receiving this card suggests that you are not fully utilizing your assets at the moment and may have some that you have not yet accessed. It is time to recognize your worth and learn who you truly are. Your unicorn guidance is to look honestly and without undue modesty at your accomplishments and aptitudes. 
Accept your magnificent self. When you do this, you can expect gifts, qualities, and even new aspects that even that have been hidden until now to come forward to assist you on your journey. Remember that you are an awesome divine being, wonderful beyond your imaginings. Your affirmation here is, I am a magnificent being. So there you have it, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. If you would like to get some extra content with me throughout the month, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Saji, I hope you have a, man, a, a fantastical, a magnificent month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah. Bye.